Call of Duty Zombies, a game that is arguably one of the most popular modes around since its introduction all the way back in 2008 alongside the release of World at War. And since its introduction, we've had a variation of maps and changes, for better or for worse. When you mention zombies to any Call of Duty player, I can guarantee you that the majority of people relate it back to the Black Ops franchise, where zombies really made its name. And since we've been lacking a real good Black Ops experience for a few years now, yes I'm looking at you Vanguard, I decided to go back for nostalgia's sake and play through each Black Ops release and see how the original starter maps hold up in 2024. So we've got 5 separate Black Ops entries spanning from Black Ops 1 all the way up to the latest edition being Black Ops Cold War. In retrospective, we have 5 maps to play through which are Kino de Toten, Transit, Shadows of Evil, Voyage of Despair and Die Machine. With that in mind, let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it. Black Ops 1 Zombie. This game has so many maps. Sat here in the chair is just such a throwback. The guy bashing on the screen, the TV screens playing. I am so happy to be playing this again, man. And Kino de Toten is just a good start to this video. Here we are, Kino de Toten. We love it. We love it. It's nice just to go around. Reminisce. You know we got to play. Found the piece of the meteor. The real question was, were you an Olympia fan or were you an M4? Fine hmm. weapon. Personally, for me, nine times out of ten, I went for the M14 first, but I did not mind using an Olympia. All right, I think it's time to open the door. I love going this way personally. I very hardly ever go this way. I remember when Call of Duty actually gave me one I really shot. Could I actually get a good amount of things. This was always my favourite part. A picture. Have a little ugly talk with the pictures. American. Ugly American. He's, he's no more. Obviously, but back then, again. this guy, nobody knew who this guy was. The theories were immense. So number two, there you are. Gotta turn on that power. Find out where the box is. Unfortunately, it wasn't my way. Last but not least, the third rock. I found the a great peak. music song. Which I'm not going to let you listen to a lot because I'm afraid I'm going to get copyrighted. So we're going to skip. Okay, let's spin the mystery box. What are we going to get on our first spin? Something good, please. That's not bad. I will take that. Here we go. Dog round. Let's go. I'm going to sit in my trusty corner that I always used to sit in for dogs. I'm going to wait out the storm. I'm going to go for one more box. Right, what is it we are gonna get? Something else is good, please. I'm still better off than That's not it. Up. Okay, we're gonna have one more box spin because this is not the one. Come on, please. That is much better. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, that was not good for me. That's my first down. Okay, change plan. I'm going for more juggernaut. Okay, that was a bit of a scare. Normally, if I was just doing like a longer run for a round, I would definitely have restarted the game. Huh? But since we're just playing for the sake of the future, if I die on a lower round, it's not the end. Might be a little bit embarrassing for me, but not the end. I think I'm going to take a little teleport over to the pack. Much better. If you don't throw grenades while you're up here, then you are wrong. More importantly, the Films. Yes, we love coming from here and getting the film. Whilst we got some spare points, actually, we've got the Biden This bad boy. We love this bad boy, and it always used to be the crawler killer. That is what I used to call this thing. Okay, I managed to get just about enough to get one more box. Can I get something lucky? Like a ray gun, please. Come on. <laughs> You're not a ray gun. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Before you run off on me. Give me a ray gun. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose it! Whew. God, the way I dodge them. Like how I dodge packs. Let's tell the governor. I'm gonna 
always pull my money. Thank you! This A lot of flipping ray gun! Love it, life. All I need is monkeys now, and I am set for good. That's not a monkey. Can you tell I've had a, a ray gun round? I'll tell you what I am going to do. Just because. I'm going to go pack on both of these weapons. Look at that. The Zeus cannon and the Porter's X2 ray gun. Things we love to see. Man, I love this thing. It's so good to use. What better round to show off the thunder gun? Are we ready for this beautiful, beautiful sound? Oh, yeah! Get him! Music to my ears. Okay, we're on round 22. We're an hour into this recording session. I'm just going to skip a few rounds now. Before we do that, though, we need to see a whole horde go flying. I think it's only fair that I do that for anyone I hope you're all ready for this beautiful, beautiful scene. Goodbye, zombies. That is so satisfying to do, man. Okay, so we skipped a few rounds. We're on round 30 now. And if I'm honest, after taking that first initial down so early on, I was not expecting to make it this far without taking them down. And I now face the problem where I've been recording this game for nearly two hours. I've got a doctor's appointment. I, have to get to. I think we're going to do the rightful thing and bow out of this game. Come on, zombies, take me on. I've got no perks or anything. Just a thunder gun. We are down to our last four bullets. Not that it matters, because they finally managed to actually hit me. Hino de Toten, an amazing map. One of my personal favorites, especially the Black Ops 1. Round 32 for a quick play. Now we move on to Black Ops 2. Our next map up is none other than Transit itself. Now, Transit for some, it enjoyed. For others, really not fun. I'm kind of in the middle. I'm not very good at Transit, so that probably does not help. But we're going to run through it either way. Don't expect much from me, though. We need to get all the parts. There we go. All right, we put you there. Let us through. Thank you very much. Same with this one. Let us through. Quickly before the zombies come. Thank you. And we are out. Like I was saying, the fog. Everyone's worst nightmare in this game. Now, we know why. It was solely because of the issues that it had. I'm trying to run this on previously the Xbox 360. Way ahead of its time. And it suffered for that exact reason. This is one of the maps I'd definitely like to see remastered at some point. Hello, good old friend. Long time no see. Sorry, I'll close the door for you. Could you take me for a little ride? Thank you. I'm going to take a back seat over here. One of the worst wonder weapons going. I don't even know why I bothered picking this part up. I don't even know why I really bothered stopping here, to be honest. Now I'm going to have to run the rest of the way, which is going to be fun. Okay, here we go. The long run to nowhere. Fighting off these horrible little cretins. I can't even remember what they're called now. But get off me. Oh my god, finally. Salvation. There's no ladder in here, but we have got this part, which we can put. And we'll put in the diner. I'm not putting it on the bus. Absolute waste. The bonus we're putting up here in the diner as well was the fact that you could get up and get to these beautiful, beautiful good old Galva Knuckles. But we don't have 6k, so we're gonna we're gonna leave that there for now. Let's try our luck again, because that was not very good. That's a bit better. Not great, but a bit better. Here we are on a lovely farm that I cannot even get into. Great. Farm. Oh beautiful farm. Oh nothing to you farm. I've already made the executive decision to not stay at farm. And here we are. Power. We finally got the power. The most blinding iron saw in a map that I have ever seen. I honestly don't know what they were thinking when they made it so bright, man. Okay, we just need the hand. I need to find the hand. Hand. 
Okay, so we add this last piece. And bada beam, bada boom. The power is on and I accidentally just killed the last zombie. So let's open this. Oh, Rechtoven, speak to me, baby. If I remember correctly, go away. And you. If I remember correctly, we have to open that door to get to the pack punch. But I think it's in town, isn't it? Let's go to town. Now, this is why people don't like transit. I need to get to town. There's no bus in sight. I now have to make the decision. Do I wait here for 10 minutes and wait for this bloody bus to come back? Or do I just run it and get lost and have the best time of my life? Damn it, why won't the bus just turn up already? You don't bite me. And I trapped myself in a corner and now I have to do the bus in the next round. Hurry up and leave. Freaking go, man. There's zombies chasing me, dude. This. This is why I hate this goddamn bus. And I'm screwed. Oh my god, I nearly didn't get through there. Okay, so we've got to throw a grenade down here. That should destroy that, hopefully. Boom. That's one done. Do the same over there. Throw a grenade down there. Don't get attacked by these zombies. That should be the second door done. Oh, wait for me, bus boy. No. I'm not going to make it. I know we've got to put this down here. 50-50 chance it works. And I've missed the bus. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, my days. That was close. We I mean, didn't make that. Boss man, boss man. You need to hurry up. I've been waiting here for ages. Yeah, come on. Get going. Get going. Okay, we're back at power. Let's find out if it worked. God damn it. And that there, that is another reason why we do not like this map. Because you do all of that. And now I'm just back to square one where I have to go get everything again and run it again and it's another 10 minutes wasted and i just want to end the game oh my god i hate this map you only saved my ass but without me you're dead meat and you know it. okay now you're just making me hungry between all the red marks and the lava and this and that and the other and me nearly dying and I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I'm chatting so much wham at the moment. I can't even figure out what I'm saying. I'm gonna get myself trapped in a corner. Like, what is that? Like, that is just gameplay at its finest. You know what? That was nine rounds. I'm glad it's over. I remember why I didn't play Transit a lot when I was younger, <laughs> when it first came out. So let's move on to a much better map on a much better game, which is Black Ops 3. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with none other than Black Ops 3. Arguably the best Call of Duty zombies to have ever existed. This game brought us so many different maps, so many new features. I mean, the gobble gums were just mind blowing when they first came out. And you just look at some of the maps that we were given. Shadows of Evil as a starting map. The likes of the Giant, the Isendraft, Zetsubo Noshima, Gorod Krovi, Revelations. And that is without the addition of Chronicles with all the remastered really good maps including origins remastered it was just a great time for gaming and i'm so ready to get into this so let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into shadows of evil you are cursed you must use your hand hello mr it's shadow man happy. how are you doing my dude good to see you once again i'm gonna get my free 
100 points and become a beast. This was so fun when it first came out. I enjoyed it so much. Go. I'm trying to remember how to actually do this right now. And I'm not going to make it. No. Oh my god, I just made it. That was actually pretty. A lot closer than yeah. I wanted it to be. So we got to pick up our first piece. Hello, my new friends. Goodbye, my new friends. The keepers will... And this is why we like gobble gums. Exactly. All those points we've already gained straight off the bat. We start. Here we go. I actually really enjoyed this easter egg. I enjoyed doing this one. This first round is just so easy. Shadow Man, keeping an eye on me as always. You devious little boy. Let's Keep open the box. It. See what I we don't get. Even know if I want to go near it. The Dingo. Dingo, Dingo. I'm going to start this ritual real quick. <clears throat> we can get two done on round one, and that is a bonus. Oh. I love that. Hello. Yeah, that's what I thought. You were tough. I'm not going to worry too much about getting the Easter egg done. Uh, I just want to do pack punch, really. That's the aim of the game. Another really important thing I always forget to do is find these shield bits as well. Like, it saves you so many times. I don't know how I always forget how important it is. Shield part number two. Successfully collected. You know what? Let's go through the rift. Wake up our friends and kill them. Good old Ruby Rabbit, here we go. Please, let this be a dream. But yeah, yeah, dude, it's definitely a dream. Help me. Definitely a dream. You're having a great dream right now. This would be a nightmare, if anything. I'll have you. Three down, one to go. Oh, I found the last bit of the shield. Happy days, we can make that now. Let's have ourselves a bit of protection on the back. And here is our shield. Now it should be on our back. We should be a bit safer from the zombies. We're the Balesk. The last one. Let's do this. The final one is complete. Big boy himself is going to pop up right now. And that's all four done. So if I remember correctly, we should be able to just go and open this door now. Look at that. Voila. Beautiful. One of my favorite things. The wall run. All the way across. Put the worms in here. I'm gonna set you down right here. Baboo. I'm gonna set Our chance to start the ritual. And it all ends up being so dramatic. I love the drama in this ring. Honestly, it's so fun. And boom. Your service to the there he is. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Oh, you're ruining it for me. It's not the best weapon, but it's just cool to see our gun get back punched. Oh, I forgot about you. I should have waited. I should have waited, but oh well. We got a pack punch. We have done our pack punch now. We could carry on a little bit with you, sir. Obviously, we can't do everything, but we can carry on for a little bit. Also, looking up in this map, look how cool that looks, man. Like, not only is it the dark sky, but just look at it. Look how awesome that is. I believe I said they're on the right. Okay, it's two pointy dart arrows. We got one arrow and a cross. Two darts, one arrow and a cross. All right, let's do this prop, shall we? We wanted the top one. Bang. We wanted that one. Bang. And we wanted that one. Bang. Now we're talking. Put the egg in there and kill. Oh, I forgot about these guys. The meatballs are back. Roll, meatball, roll. I'm gonna roll you up into a marinara meatball. Whoa! Where did all you come from? What a waste of a down as well. Oh, we got our fourth egg. Let's get out of here. There we go. Look at that. Boom. We have the beautiful Slash. You know what? I'm going to pack punch this for no reason whatsoever. Just if I can. 
for that. Thank you very much. You know what? Put a special weapon to the test. Ready? Yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, I used to love this thing. It's just so powerful. It kind of reminds me of the uh, axe in the new Cold War. That kind of swinging, kind of mobility Girl movement me. style yes. weapon. Fun to use. Fun to use. Enjoyable to use. Question is, what Easter egg did you enjoy the most on Black Ops 3? Firstly, this one I did really enjoy. I don't really know if you want to count the Chronicles maps in this as well, because obviously they are not Black Ops 3 maps originally. But every single Easter egg in this game is so good. I feel like they put so much detail into it. Ah! Oh no! Man! Now the question is, do I get out of here alive? Oh, I can't take any more hits. No, I got stuck. I got stuck in a very narrow place. I probably should have used my gobble gun there. Realistically, I should have used my gobble gun. But we got so many maps to get through, so we might as well call it a day there. And move on to Black Ops 4. Here we are, Black Ops 4. Voyage of Despair. It's got to be done, so let's do it. In all fairness, the map itself isn't terrible, but like, unfortunately Black Ops 4 left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. So I should really give it some credit where it's due, but it is what it is. That's a big old iceberg you just hit there, boy. It's generally been such a long time since I played this map that I cannot even remember what I have to do. That's how little I play Black Ops 4. 2,000 for a quick revive. You have got to be kidding me man i cannot remember that being so hefty as always let's grab a box a i can't lie the mystery box does look pretty cool in this i'll take the hitchcock i'll take it from the world. and now i'm remembering i needed the so sentinel the artifact off. if i can remember correctly it's on the other side i think lovely little fireworks just what i need during a zombie apocalypse there it is the artifact itself thank you very much i will be having that let's just uh, run away from these zombies while this does its thing it's a sequence. one must... oh, so that's two of them i don't for the life of me remember where the other two are though can't help to get another box surely hey i'll take it oh i remember some of the map is underwater oh my days trying to go for a swim that's number three done. I just got to remember where the last one is. I honestly feel like such a rookie playing this again. Like, I genuinely cannot remember this map anymore. That's it, I think it's down here. It's all coming back to me. Kind of. Here we are once again under the water, but we found it. See, I've still got it. Back of punch is open. If I'm honest, that's all I remember from this map. So I'm just going to play it out now and not carry on with any more of the Easter egg stuff. I'm not even going to bother draining the uh, underwater part because I simply cannot remember. Sometimes then you just look out onto the vast ocean and think, why am I even playing this game? Okay, the least I can do is try to get a decent gun so I can back punch it. That's the least I can get done on this map. Give us old mystery box. Oh, good if weapon sure i will ask again give us oh good box a good weapon you know what i'm going to take it and i'm gonna pack the punch it do you know what we haven't done actually we haven't had a good old hammer to arm hammer to arm hammer to arm this was one thing i did enjoy about black ops 4 Damn it, you two, go away. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Look at that. I will be having you, thank you very much. I love the sound of the pack punch, man. It's just so good. Oh, I forgot about you. I forgot about you big time. I'm sorry. Come on, baby. Tell you what, I'm glad I pack punch just now. Perfect timing. You know what? I will pack a punch the M16 for no reason whatsoever. Thank you, pack a punch machine. 
And while we're here, have my other weapon again. Thank you, sir. We're just going to slide into next week. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Whoops. Okay, this is, this is going to be great, isn't it? A question to all of you. What is your favorite Black Ops format? I actually don't have one. Solely because I do not play Black Ops 4 enough to actually enjoy one. Mind you, I didn't mind 9 as a concept. But would I class it as one of my overall favorites? No. But what is one of your favorites? Let me know. Oh, it's you. Ladies and gentlemen, this ain't looking too good here, I must admit. I'm getting hit left, right, and center. Not my best performance. Oh, that's definitely not good. Yeah, you ain't so big and tough now, are you? Now that you're on the ground. Round 15 and this gun feels pointless already. I got myself stuck in the corner. This is the end. I forgot to use my hammer. Forgot to use my hammer. And that's what happens when you don't play Black Ops 4 for about... Feels like 10 years. You forget that you have things like your hammer. Oh well. Cold War it is. Okay, we are on our last Black Ops Zombies, and it is none other than Cold War, the final one for now, until possibly this year. If I'm honest, Die Machine for me brought me back into Zombies, especially after Black Ops 4. I'm not saying I hated Black Ops 4, but I definitely lost a bit of love for it. And I didn't play it for quite a while. And this game definitely brought me back into the Zombies franchise, as you can see, because I'm currently making videos on it. And overall, I don't think it's a bad map. I quite like it. Like the excitement when I first loaded into this game and I saw Nacht just sat here, abandoned, broken down more than it was, it got me excited. To be honest, if anything, Nacht got a good little renovation. Looks nice. Looks a bit modern, you know? And the box has spawned in this area as well. So it means we're going to have to get the power on before we get the box. Which isn't a major issue. Just a bit annoying because I'd rather get one now. We've made it to the power room. Now we just have to get some power going. I need some money so we can open that door. And then we can actually see down here. Which would be very nice right now. There should be enough points to get in. Yep. Now we just need to activate the power. Don't mind me, guys. Just going to quickly run through you and turn this one on. We've got lights now, which is nice as well. And then we're just going to run over here, and we're going to get the second terminal on. Excuse me, sir. And then we have power. And with the power on, we can enter the dark ether, and we can finally get the pack punch sorted. Oh, yes, the dark ether. The new Call of Duty storyline for zombies. Some hate it, some love it. What do you guys think about it, though? At the moment, for me, it's a bit too sporadic. But over time, I'm hoping that I can be convinced that this storyline will be a decent one. Also, while we're here, I'm just going to shoot this last little orb, and that should take us to our first Easter egg of the day. None other than the Coffin Dance. There it is. This Easter egg was quite funny when it came out. I did enjoy it, I can't lie. It has no relation to the actual story whatsoever. But just as a little side Easter egg, I found it quite fun. And you get some loot out of it, so you can't go wrong. And more importantly, you just get to see the zombies dance for a little bit. Yeah, let's take this opportunity to get our free loot. Oh, I just clicked the wrong one. But we'll take it. A jug perk, can't go wrong with that. And speaking of jugs, our friends joined us. Okay, let's let's do some damage to you, shall we? Because, ow, no, to you, not to me. And that's the first form dead. Now we just need to split into two, and I can kill the second one. You know what? We got five bullets. Let's hit a box real quick. Please give me something good. I got no ammo. I got no weapon. Please. Okay, I'll take it. I guess beggars can't be choosers. Oh my god, what is this scope? No ADS for me. Let's very quickly grab that. Let's get out of this tricky situation. Okay, that's the two Megas done. Oh, you know what? 
We could go get the wonder weapon actually. That might be a good idea. First things first, we need to get this out. It's been a little while since I played this, but we go upstairs. We should, if we kill some zombies, be able to get a free wonder weapon. Aim okay, in this round. Gather up all the zombies. It's step one. Step two, take them downstairs. Step three, kill them all next to the machine and hopefully get a free wonder weapon. I think that should be enough zombies. So that's step one. Let's go take them downstairs. Come on, boys, follow me. Okay, here we go. Let's turn it on and let's get them dead. Let's throw a decoy down there so they run through. Oh, that's all good. That's all good. That's all good. Ooh. Oh, no. I thought they were all there. I wasn't paying attention. No. I am my own downfall. And the worst thing is... I don't think it even fully worked. And I lost my juggernaut. Oh no, wait. It did work. That's fine. Here it is. Oh, course, Happy days. I might have lost my self-revive accidentally, but I did get my wonder weapon. The D.I.E. Shockwave. I actually really like this wonder weapon. I, I think it's an awesome wonder weapon. The fact that you can shoot and absorb zombie health. Pretty cool. I mean, for anyone that does remember... That's what it does. It's almost like a thunder gun when you think about it. But then on the on the bonus side, you can also absorb the zombie health to recharge it so you don't run out of ammo. And it still does damage. I mean, look at that. That looks pretty good to me. Boom, zombies. One shot on round 13. Can't complain about that. Excuse me, sir. Why are you hiding behind the tree? It's a war zone. You don't have to duck in and out and weave. You ain't no sweaty ttv -er. One of my main gripes with Cold War is the fact that it doesn't have any actual, like, story characters. I mean, sure, it has, like, Weaver and, like, that side of the story. But when you play, you just play as a COD operative. And to me, that kind of takes away from the story. It might not be as big a thing for some people, but when you when you go back to old school zombies and you play as like Richtofen or Takio or Dempsey or any of them, there's characters behind it, you know? It's not just, oh, I'm just a Call of Duty operative. And I know that's down to the, the way that things have gone with Warzone and operator skins and money that they spend on it and whatnot. But to me personally, I think that's my main gripe with Cold War. And to be fair, the same with Modern Warfare 3 as well. You just don't get the story feel as much because you're not immersed in it as much. Okay, I have some points. I should probably spend them on Pack Punch of some sort. You know what? I'm going to Pack Punch. I'm going to Pack Punch my Wonder Weapon. Why not treat myself? I should probably treat myself to some perks as well. But I'll treat myself to a Wonder Weapon Pack Punch first. Why not? I hope you're ready for this. Kaboom! Kabow! Yes, I'm a child and I like to make sound effects. Whoa, what do you think you're doing, fella? Get out of here! Just in case anyone is wondering, I'm probably not going to do the main Easter egg on this. Mainly because I can't be bothered and I don't have that much time on my hands at the moment. We'll probably end up excellent around round 30, to be honest. That way, you know, we get a good little zombie session, we get to Xfil, we get some crystals. And it's all happy days. Well, what is with this fog? What? What are they trying to do? Make it look like transit? Still a better map than transit. You know what? Round 21 sounds like a good round to exfil on. Otherwise, it's going to have to be late 30s. And let's let's be honest. I got stuff to do. Let's get out of this place. I do like the addition of exfils on this. It does give you. Oh, hello. It does give you. A bonus to work towards which is handy actually i have a chopper gunner for this exact reason so let's uh let's clear you guys out shall we have this suckers eat this lead there's mr big dude just chilling over there i actually have to kill these guys first so let's do that kill you guys and then we are out of here good thing i had that you know what just because i can no reason whatsoever have a drink before we get on the chopper. And then let's get on. And just like that, we have played every single Call of Duty Black Ops. 
And I got myself a Flora Sephira and Crystal. So, who's the real winner here? But on a serious note, that is every single Call of Duty Black Ops first map completed. I did have a lot of fun. There were some maps that I wasn't as keen on as others, but overall, I can't complain too much. Black Ops as a franchise is amazing, and the zombies they create are normally amazing. So with that in mind, it does bring us to the end of today's video. If you have enjoyed, then leave a like and maybe a comment suggesting which zombies map is your favourite from the Black Ops franchise. Also, if there is anything else you want me to do that you would like to see, then make sure to leave a comment down below. Apart from that, I hope you have enjoyed and I shall see you later.